this is hands down the best foundation i've ever used guys i'm not even lying to you <laughs> you doing today my name is Nessie if you're new to this channel welcome aboard welcome to the family and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for watching this video and coming back to the channel so on today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Superstay Maybelline Maybelline Superstay foundation so without further ado let's get started <laughs> okay guys so i've been struggling for the past one hour with this eyelash so if you just see it coming off guys just let it be okay just my eye has been through a lot i've struggled for like the last 30 minutes just on this one eye and it's it's still the inner part the inner corner is still coming off and i'm just tired i've removed it i've started all over again i've done everything i'm just i'm just letting it be and going on with my business as if nothing happened okay let's just pretend that it's okay and we keep on with the video okay guys okay so i'm going to prime my face first as always just going to use the oops i'm going to use the primer that i normally use okay guys so this is the foundation yay <laughs> uh i'm using the shade 355 and i'm just hoping that this shade matches because i bought it online and uh the maybelline fit me the maybelline fit me matte and polish i'm usually shade 355 so i'm just hoping that this one is going to match okay <laughs> okay so let's read let's go through the claims first it claims to be full coverage it's supposed to last up to 40 uh not 44 it's supposed to last up to 24 hours and it has a matte finish and it's breathable and no transfer okay so we're going to put all these claims to test and yeah so when you open it guys it has a pump which is a very good thing guys most of the most of the drugstore foundations they don't have palms which is so hard like the maybelline fit me it just you have to squeeze it out but with this one it has a pump which is a very good 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 thing for me it's good on my part so we're going to do this side we're going to do with beauty blender and this side we're going to do with a brush so that we can just see them difference with the different techniques different techniques that you're going to use and the different tools that you're going to use so let's see if the coverage is the same or we are just going to yeah let's just test with both tools okay yeah because why not <laughs> so i'm just going to take one palm and yeah just one palm and on this side I'm just going to apply the way I usually apply. I'm just going to Oh, I think that's a lot. So transfer a little to this other side. Guys, are you seeing that? <laughs> Let's just hope that it's going to match me because yo. <laughs> look at that guys look at that coverage okay look at how i don't know this is so good and we're just starting it's like ah! <laughs> wow wow the coverage guys it's insane Okay, so I usually have like beauty spots and let's see if it will cover that as well. So let's just 
and you know with beauty blenders they usually soak up products so yeah the coverage won't be the same like when you use a brush so let's try let's just see how this goes guys i'm already impressed though it looks yellowish on me this shade looks yellowish i don't like having a yellowish But I think we can make that work. We can tone it down with the concealer and contour. Guys. Guys, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, guys? Okay, apart from the lash, yes. Yes, it has... It's... So good, yeah. And the blendability is so good, it's so easy to blend. Although I'm using a bit of blender, which is usually easier to blend with. So let's blend that into my hairline so that I don't look like yeah. Okay, so on this other side, I'm going to use a brush. And let's just go over my nose and a brush, yes. And what I'm doing is just pressing it in, and yo, yo! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so impressed with this. I'm not even lying. This is so impressive. You know, I usually say like with all my foundation reviews, I usually I'm usually so excited, but this one it has outdone itself. So, so I think with the uh, are you seeing any difference, guys? Like with the with the beauty blender side, it's it's seamless. It's more seamless. guys have you ever like i hope it matches me you know the way you usually apply your foundation you think it matches and then you go and take a flash test and you're like oh my god is that me is that me you look like i don't know <laughs> like casper casper the ghost yeah so I hope this doesn't leave me with that because I think it's lighter but I hope we'll make that work. I hope that will work. I hope that it's gonna work. My eyelash is coming off. It's coming off. But guys, woo, I'm impressed. I'm not even going to lie. I'm so impressed. The coverage is insane. The coverage is so good. I think I might just have found myself a new favorite foundation. <laughs> and I'll have to look for my shade. Oh, yes. Sav, Savas. <laughs> it's so good, guys. It is so good and I've just used one one palm and so as I was saying I usually have like beauty spots and let's see if it has covered it up it hasn't really covered it up so I'm going to take one palm just to, to test if it's buildable or if it's not so I'm going to check my beauty blender and I'm going to try and cover those beauty beauty spots guys this is totally buildable it has covered those spots i don't like covering them but that's how we can test if it's full coverage 
and it's so buildable it looks seamless you know there are those foundations that you can't peel them up because they'll leave you looking cakey this is totally buildable it's building up so well so around my nose i usually have those so let's cover them up let's cover them up So, so far guys, I really, really, really like this foundation. It looks like my skin. Like, besides it being a little bit yellow and I don't know if it's orangish. Yeah, it's really like skin-like. It's so seamless. It's so, it's so good guys. It's so good. This is worth your coins. And I haven't even done my concealers and my contour and stuff so let's go let's do the concealers and the contours and see how that turns out so i'm just going to be using my maybelline uh my maybelline fit me concealers i'm going to use these two shades this one i'm going to highlight and this one i'm going to conceal with it so let's see how it performs with other um, with other products okay like the contour and my with the contour and the concealers okay let's see how it perf it performs with them okay look yellow this is not my shade i don't like that but it's so good i'm not even lying to you guys wow this is this is it this is it so i'm just going this is shade 355 she's a heartbreaker she been now about so let me blend my forehead and if you haven't watched my review on these concealers i'll link it as the video ends so that you can go watch the previous video of me reviewing the maybelline concealers okay my thoughts on the concealers concealers with my under eye concealer i like them to sit there a little bit so that i can blend them in well so let me just spray my setting spray i give you guys this lash this lash this lash but you're just going to continue <laughs> They just look like two different people but we're going to continue regardless i think i should have gone with warm coconut i'm going to purchase warm coconut and i'll just make this work for me because where this is a lot of money hmm? and i'm going to contour using this this is the maybelline fit me in the shade 380 so for powder i'm going to use this revlon candid yeah i'm going to use that because i just feel that it's more of my shade and probably it will help tone down these yeah just because it's my shade i'm hoping that it will help tone it down So I, ha I think the situation has been helped a little with the contour and the powder. So yeah. So guys, this is hands down the best foundation I've ever used. I'm not even going to lie to you. I know I've said in my other videos that 
that's the best foundation that i've ever used but this guys this this is the one ah shaka can't believe this what is this couldn't get it hard to believe it for a drugstore makeup to do that it just i'm impressed okay i'm very impressed besides not that besides it not matching me that much but i think i've worked it out yeah yeah i think so in my other reviews i've said those are my best foundation but this 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 is my new favorite foundation as you can see it's so skin like it's so pretty it's just it's just everything guys in person it looks like it has toned down it looks like it has matched me a little but i can see on camera i just look like two different people but i'll make it work i'll just be mixing it with my other foundation or i'll get the shade that it's my shade but guys this is it okay go get your foundation go get your maybelline superstay foundation because hands down the best the best foundation i've ever used like i i don't i don't even i don't know i don't know if i want to continue with this video because yes we are done i found my foundation my best drugstore foundation go get your foundations okay <laughs> yeah but guys i'm just going to go ahead with my I'm going to go ahead with my sugar leaves okay i'm going to go on with my activities to just see how it wears out during the day and then i'll come back to you guys and show you the wear i'm just going to do a wear test so i'll come back and show you guys how this foundation is how it wears out through the day for because it claims it's supposed to be 24 hours first of all let me check if it's transferable like no hmm? you see that there's no transfer at all you know the way i usually just when you take when you pick your phone when you do anything like your foundation transfers with this there is no transfer guys so guys let me just go do my activities and then i'll see you guys in a bit okay okay <laughs> okay guys it's now like 9 p.m it's been eight hours since i did my makeup and i just wanted to check in with you guys to show you how the foundation has performed throughout the day so yeah as you can see i usually get oily i usually get oily around my t-zone like from my from my forehead going down i usually get so oily yeah actually get so fucking oily so right now as you can see i'm oily but on my forehead i'm not that oily it's not that oily and it's not something that you can't fix so let me show you what hap what you can do when you get this oily throughout the day so you just take your beauty blender and you press that in you don't you don't go over it with powder because when you go it over it with powder it just becomes so cakey so you just do that and yeah i think it's fixed it's not something that you can't fix it's something that you can work with it and so far guys i really 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 love this foundation i'll totally recommend it for you guys so i'll just go get my shade because this shade does not match me but this foundation is life yeah this foundation is it go get it go buy your foundation okay so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below i'll yeah you know, down below or i'll leave a link here so that you guys can subscribe to the channel and until next time guys bye